you guys can still add mm -hmm. um custom list view so i'll do more on that now and for yeah check it out yep 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 and so that we will not have any issues in future yeah uh, but um, for today uh in the last class i have told you or i have taught you android alert dialogue right yeah and I told you what's the use of alert dialog. And we have gone through one example of alert dialog where we went through these four steps. And hopefully we completed our practical and that's this one, right? Mm -hmm. So today we'll go through another Android widget called Android Spinner. What is Android Spinner? I'm gonna talk about that first, the basic overview I'm gonna give, and then I will move ahead with the example of it and we'll show you how to edit in an Android application. So Android Spinner is like, so it's like the com box of AWT or you can say swing. It GUI. can be. It's enough for use for GUI. Yeah, for graphical user, user face. Yeah, so it can be used to display the multiple options uh, to the user in which only one item can be selected by the user. So it can be used to display the multiple options to the user so but you can select only one to the user in which only one item can be selected by the user So a combo box is like AWT or you can say a swing so but it's mostly used to display your multiple options and in those multiple options a user can select any particular item that's what Android Spinner is all about. So Android Spinner it's also like drop down menu with multiple options or multiple values. Items from which the user can select only one, one value. Suppose when you have to, you know, enter your date of birth to create an account, you will have different years, years like 2020 or 1991, two, three, four, and so on. So it's like that. Mm -hmm. So it's associated with adopter view of your application. So adopter, not adopt. So we can it's as, as it's associated with the adopter view, so we need to use one of the adopter classes. If you wanted to add the spinner in Android as it's associated with adopter view, so we have to add or we need to use one of the adopter classes with spinner to make sure that everything is working properly. And then if you wanted to check what's the class of it, so Android, or if you wanted to know the Android spinner class, it's the subclass of a 
SB spinner class. So well, that's the basic overview about the Android spinner class. And then let's move ahead and go through the example of it. So in this example, we are going to display country list. You need to use array or we are going to use array adapter class to store the country list. That's it. So steps are simple. First one, we'll create a project, create a new project with the name Android Spinner. And second is modify the activity.xml file sorry activity main dot xml file which is to show the graphical overview second is we have to modify the main activity java file Third point, that's it. So these are the three uh, different things that we have to do in order to make sure that we are going to add in order to make sure that the spinner is going to work properly and we will have the list of countries using an array adapter in this particular application. So let's move ahead and do these things. Are you here? Who else is here? Only two people are here, right? Let's wait. Okay. So we'll try to create, first of all, a new project, MPT activity next, and we will name it as Android Spinner. Make sure Java is the language and minimum SDK is listed, or you can choose any different one. Finish it. So we have the project here, which is Android Spinner. And I will go here and close the previous one, which is Android Alert Dialog disconnect here we go this is main activity file and this is activity.xml so first thing after creating a project we have to modify the you can say activity.main as I as I've told you create a new project with this name and modify the activity so what you have to do what we are going to do is we just need to add the spinner so I am going to remove this particular or you can just comment it if you don't want to remove it so yep so here the layout should be same the corner strength what we are not going to make any changes do the same parent match parent man activity so we have to add the spinner so s p i n spinner is there you can say spinner so layout width is not wrap content right now i am going to make it as 149 dp and then height is 40 dp and make sure that the first element always that we add is android id if 
uh, ID spinner. You can use any ID. It's not necessary that you will use spinner, but for time being, or if you want to remember if it's spinner, you should give the names accordingly also. And then layout, another property, margin bottom, layout, margin, bottom here is an attribute. So margin bottom 8 DP, that's it. Then Android, margin end, here it is, no, no, margin, Heck. layout margin end and it's gonna be 8 dp also android layout margin start and it is 8 dp Android layout, sorry, margin top, and also it's a DB. Then app layout, constant bottom to bottom off, first of all, and parent. These are all the parents, the same thing that we have here. You can copy and paste the same here. And to end off parent, so if you don't want to write, you can copy these all the things because it's very important to add here. So we can all use these two properties, bottom to bottom off and oh. As deleted, we'll add app dot layout on a strength and to end off off the bottom to bottom up, and that's also parent. And then app layout on a strength on a strength. Horizontal bias is 0 0.502. App layout corner strength start to start off. So start to start off is here. Now once again, it's parent. And then app layout top to top off, that's top to top off and it's again parent. And then at last app layout attribute, constant vertical bias. It's gonna be 0 0.498. That's it, and that's it, Kalas. So that's it. So these are the properties that we need to add in Spinner. So Spinner, Android ID is Spinner, layout is this margin, bottom, and, and, and then app layout, because we have to add a app layout as we do not have the text view. So it's gonna change the app layout according to the constants that we have added. So we are done with Android uh, activity, activity main.xml. Now we'll go to main activity class or the Java file that you can say in a simple words. And here you have to make sure that you are going to import the array adapter, which is very important. So by let's see uh, how much we can go through. So first of all, what you have to do, so adopter view it is. So that's adopter view. 
uh, dot on item selected listener as i've told you we have to create an adopter you know uh, array adopter so in this way we use to create it and string this is an array and i'm going to use country as a variable equals to again if you know i told you how to store an array so for example we have qatar cutter then in double quotes here comma double quotes you need to store all the countries Qatar and it's Oman right then comma then it's uh, Kuwait then it's UAE then it's KSA Saudi Arabia then it's Bahrain and so on but we want only these or you can say other that's it so these are or this is just and you just just using adopter view we have created one particular array adopter and then we'll go to on create method so if you have to get getting the instance of spinner and applying on item selected listener On it so using the class spinner I'm gonna create one variable called spin equals to in the same way like we did in the previous class spinner find view by ID and we use the class R dot ID dot spinner that's the ID that we have here in the spinner ID spinner that's going to link it to the activity.xml file so spin dot set on click selected listener on click where is it on item selected listener is here that's it and this why it's showing sir it checks out then we are going to go to creation of the array adopter instance so having the country list so using the array adopter AA is equal to new array adopter and this comma Android dot R dot layout dot simple spinner item simple Spinner. This is the class so spinner item, which is country.
double star triple uh, double a set drop dot view source android dot r dot layout dot simple spinner drop down item here is it that's it and then after that we are going to set setting the array adopter data on the spinner so spin dot set adopter AA. That's it. After that, we'll come out from this one and then we will perform. So, performing action on item selected and nothing selected using the toast. We'll use add the rate override public wide on item selected adopter view nothing selected argument zero comma view arg one argument one then integer position and then long id Here we are using toast dot make text get application context comma country something is wrong here I'm not able to do it country Position toast dot length long dot show. That's it. Again, another override method public. white on nothing selected adopt a view question mark this argument zero Do not do anything, it will automatically generate. The question is here country, it's the country adopter array adopter is aided, adopter view is aided, spinner toast view is aided, bundle is aided. Then why is the all, where is the, oh, yep, yep, yep. The question is, now we have, oh, here is the problem. We already did it two times. 
Oh no 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 no! Yep yep, you need to close it. Why is there an error on the override? That should be correct. Yeah. Bundle save, it's giving the error over here also. Sir, did you implement the adapter view dot on I can select the listener? Mm -hmm. You should implement it in the start. So where it says main activity extends app compact activity, you should implement the adapter view on it. Adapter view is not you, there? Adapter view is here. No, you need to implement it, sir. We have to create a method you're saying? No, implement it. Um, can I share my screen, sir? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I got it, I got it. You get it. So it's app combat activity after here. Implement. Mm -hmm. Implement this method, okay. Again, here we have to close it. Still, it's giving the error. Implements adopter view dot on selected on item selected listener. It's not closing it here. String country and the amount uh, quad UAE KSA. Okay, okay, okay. Here we do not have to yeah. add it. So here we don't need to add it. So that's what it was doing, colors. So here we need to remove the curly bracket. We have to open it here and then it will be closed at last. So uh, adopter view dot on item selected listener. This is the country list. And then this is the on create method. Here we are creating a spinner object then spinner on selected item this. Then we're going to use array adopter to call the object double A. And then we're going to use simple spinner item country and then we'll set a drop down resource and then we'll call that. And then we're going to override the matter for on the item selected and nothing selected. And then we will just save it and then run it using our very Sweet emulator of Pixel 2 API 28. It's finished. So we will have our drop down list here. You can see Qatar, Oman, Kuwait, UAE, UAE KSA, and Bahrain. So if you have to add more countries, you do not have to do anything. Keep on adding more countries here. So Qatar, you will select Qatar, or you want Kuwait, you will select Kuwait. Bahrain and Toast is selecting Bahrain. You can see Toast is coming. Then after that other, you're going to have the Toast of other. Clear? Mm -hmm. So that's how we can add a spinner. So why spinner is used? Sometimes you need to have the drop down list. So we are using adopter array for creating a list of you know countries so that we can have all the list of countries or even if you want you can use the years or months or a date, a particular date like the one to thirty or thirty one. So we can use Android spinner class over there as well. Right?
Mm -hmm. I... Wait a sec, let me take the print. Let's add the same. Others are now going to join. Okay, that's about the Android spinner class.